Hi guys, I've just picked up myself a 2014 Altitude 200 series Land Cruiser and I'm looking at putting a set of drawers in, or I have put a set of drawers in I've been looking around on a lot of sites to see what everyone else has been doing and generally they're all, I reckon they're all pretty boring they're just the two drawers in the back with the chest freezer sitting on top that chest freezer needs a slide and it needs a lift down type of bracket and um, it's really stops all the room on top of your set of drawers so I wanted to design a system that um, could put a maximum amount of stuff in a small amount of place so um, let's just go in and have a look and see what I've done so what we got here is the Evercool 40 litre drawer fridge this fridge here is I believe the largest on the market at 40 litres Engel make a 30 litre one and I think somebody else makes a 30 litre one but 40 litres it's going to suit me down to the ground because apparently I can put 48 cans in there there's a nice little light in there very easy to use next to that we have a drawer and under the drawer we've got ourselves a small table so the drawer comes out about 800 mil I suppose I've got carpet inside it to stop things from rattling around pretty important to get carpet inside and it just finishes it off really nicely Obviously you need the, uh, the lockable lockable handle. Underneath that we've got ourselves a little table. So if you stop on the side of the road to make your sandwich, you've got yourself a little table there. Pull the stuff straight out of the fridge, chuck it on. And um, yeah, your table's there, not too high. It needs to be underneath the drawer, especially in the, if you're going to put a uh, lift kit on it, as I've done. So it's a, it's a good, good bench height there. So on either side of the uh, the fridge and the drawers, I've got myself some electronics. This is the incoming side. This is a DC-DC uh, DC battery charger. It's the uh, the Red Arc 25 amp model, BCDC 1225D. I originally wanted to put the um, EverDrive in because the EverDrive is better in a canopy situation, I believe. It's got a fan that's cooling, um, and it's quite easy to uh, to operate. It's got an LED screen on it shows you all your voltages and all your currents, so your inputs and your outputs. But unfortunately, it was way too big to fit in this space. I think it's only about, um, probably only about 150 mil there. So the BCDC is doing the job really well. These things do generate a lot of heat. So what I've done is I've actually mounted it about 5 mil off this backboard. So we've got airflow right around it. Okay, here we down below, we've got ourselves a solar input. So the Anderson plug, solar panels go into there. Um, unregulated of course just chuck the uh, solar panel straight in there don't use your regulator and that's a 50 amp midi fuse which goes to a lithium battery which is located behind the drawers we'll get to that a bit later on on the other side is what I call the output side we have four switches first switch there we got lights so I've just got a set of LED strip lights on either side of the drawer system so I reckon at, at night time that's going to light up the whole tailgate. So that could be a beautiful thing. This next one here is basically just all my electronics, which is my voltmeter. And down below I've just got a cigarette lighter, 12 volt cigarette lighter, and uh, a couple of USBs. Next one is the refrigerator. Hit that one, refrigerator starts. I've had it running for about five minutes now and it's pulled down to four degrees pretty quickly great little fridge and my last switch I've just not able to accessories which is just this um, Anderson plug here um, and I can plug anything that's um, 20 amps or over into there down below you might see this uh, extension lead these 200 series come with a built-in inverter which just sits pretty much just behind here um, and I've just got extension lead small extension lead to come through there so while I'm driving along, I can plug in my battery chargers and charge all my batteries because um, there's a quite a bit of a, there's about a 50, 60, 70 mil gap when I put the tailgate down. Battery chargers can sit in there and we can um, charge our batteries. So a fairly comprehensive uh, set of uh, electronics there and pretty much every um, outlet is available to us. So let's go and have a look at this battery. So I designed the draw system myself and got it made up um, it's pretty much a homemade job. Bloke in Woodford did it for me. Um, the draw system cost me $1,200. So 
So I reckon that was pretty good value and I could design it myself. So at the very back, what we have, a lift up drawer, lift up tar table, and we have our 140 amp hour lithium battery put in behind the drawer. I've made this gap here three, 350, 350 wide so I can access my battery. Don't need to access the back, back of the drawer, but it's just there. And then over on this side here, we have the fridge. So I can access the fridge. Um, really important thing when you're um, installing a fridge is ventilation. You need to have ventilation coming in through this area here, past your compressor and back going out again. So what I've done was I've put a couple of fans on the back of the drawer system and some PVC, 100 mil PVC. So the air is sucked in through here, goes back through the compressor, out through the fins, the cooling fins, and it's sucked out through this piece of PVC. You also need drainage. So my drainage is going down through the, uh, through the floor. And obviously power, which is a couple of Anderson plugs going in there. So putting a fridge in is no simple task. You don't just plug it in. Uh, ventilation, drainage, and power. So I'll put that down. We'll go and check out the, um, the cooling fans. So the good thing about this system is I can still have my rear seats in. So I can still carry five people and the drawer setup is there. So yeah, just got a couple of uh, 120 millimeter fans. That's the minimum you should be using to pull that amount of air in and amount of air out. And they run behind the seats. And down the side there, I can just put all my recovery gear. Got an air compressor, a few other bits and pieces. So I've had the car running and making sure that it's charging the the battery at the back, which it works really well. Now I've just thrown my solar panels out and I've got those plugged in. Got a good amount of cable there, nice thick cable. And that's going into my solar inlet. And if I turn these lights off, We should be able to see the lights there saying U is my charge profile, which is um, lithium, and it's charging from the solar. So I reckon that system there is pretty good because I can also, if I need to pick up people from the airport, big suitcases, they go straight on top. There's no big cumbersome fridge there. You've got that flat surface there. You can put anything you like when you go camping. Everything is tucked in into that uh, draw system which is probably only about 350 millimeters high so as far as cost goes i got the uh got the drawers made up as i said a uh, bloke in woodford does them in the back of his shed so a bit of a homemade type of situ situation but that was uh, 1200 dollars roughly 500 dollars for the lithium battery 500 dollars for the red arc um, and um, a few bits and pieces uh, 1200 for the fridge so I reckon about three and a half gram would probably pull you out what I probably didn't mention about this drawer system is there are no runners on the side so I'm actually saving about 20 mil of space on both sides of my drawer I've got running them on um, runners at the bottom Teflon runners and they work really well. So I've really maximized the amount of stuff I've got in this drawer system. I've got a fridge, drawer, table, BCD, lithium, got my got the um, the drainage happening for the fridge, the air coming through the fridge, and more than enough electronics. So I hope you like this video. This is just what I've done. Um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.